Hey folks, Miss Katie is trying to remember what game it is before I ask her. That's why she was looking down at it. What game do we have today, Miss Katie? D-Day. And who's it by? Decision Games. Decision Games. And it's not a Thai Bomba game. How about that? No. Now, who do we know that was in D-Day? Your Uncle Harold. And that was, what, seven weeks before, before six or seven weeks before he was KIA. Before he was killed, right. Now, who sent this game to us? Look at him. You? Yeah, I bought it. Oh, you bought it. I bought <laughs> it. This was not a Decision Games review copy because, well, Decision Games has, as far as I can recall, has never given me a review copy. Yeah, you would think they would since I am a hmm, pretty darn good reviewer, but they haven't. So, But yes, this new game, it has four games in it because it's a quad, and quad means how many? Now, is that the way we say that word? Foe. Foe. Because Miss Katie is a southern girl, and it's foe. Girl. It's foe. It's foe. <laughs> I, I, I got foe things at the market, so... <laughs> But yeah, we're looking forward to this one, and Miss Katie will soon take it the the phone away from me because then I have to do my talking. So, what do we always say, Miss Katie? Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey folks, it's Smitty. I'm here looking at the new D-Day quad from Decision Games, and of course we've got our friend Mittens over here. Mittens recently had a urinary issue, but he's doing much better. This game, of course, was sent to us by Decision Games via Noble Knights because we bought the game. So it is not one that was sent to us then, ergo, by Decision Games. Uh, we got Maggie's help right now, as you can see. Maggie is helping very much in the video, and we've got to dump her, folks, so. But, front box, two iconic pictures, iconic spot, and a new picture for me. So let's flip this over and see how it looks on the back. Well, the, the print, as you can see, is weenie. Not, not as good as some folks, but... Good box of information, counters. Maybe the map could have been a little bigger on the back part here, because it's a little hard to see. And so it's just saying, that, oh, maybe the DG could have done a little bit better on that. Not a children's toy, age 14. Well, my parents would have bought this for me at age 10, so I don't understand the age 14 thing, except there's so much sensitivity anymore in any of this stuff, so. But, that's a different matter. There is a gentleman called Chance, as I'm shrinking this a bit, who does modular home reviews, and he is one of the most enthusiastic people, but I don't know if he could be any more enthusiastic than I am about the way this map looks. I like this map, and good lord, I was shocked to discover that it is... A mounted map board. And of course, it will lay better under the plexiglass. What I like here is they did it one for the invading player, one for the defending player. And guess what? Since Smitty plays everything solitaire, everything solitaire, the terrain key, the combat result table, all set up so that I can easily play this. This makes it so he's in, God almighty, isn't this ugly? All this because you can't ask for it to be any uglier. But it delineates the beaches nicely. Gold, Juno, Sword, Omaha, and Utah. The road system is noted. I, I'm... Very much impressed by this one. A mounted map board for just a regular size game. Are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. This is this is a nice little package, folks. I, I can't say enough about it. And of course, 
I even paid for it myself. Okay, let's talk about paper now. Here we have the CRT paper. The paper's kind of what I'm calling it, because this is a bit of the, on the flimsy side for card stock for, for a key piece of the game. I'm a little surprised by that. The other side is the sequence of play. Having just played Saipan, I'm very familiar with this. And actually, the Saipan game, which some folks bust on, I think is one of the best decision games. And because I recalled how much fun I had with it, I decided to invest in this game. So there you have this. And of course, their CRT, is there isn't a lot of killing on it. Well, but is that true? Well, exchanges are a kill, and DEs, of course, are always a kill. A lot of this is maneuver. Units get killed by maneuver, dependent upon retreat paths. That's why we have the D, like here, the D3, the D2. So, and of course, we have for our friend Sam, not the die, but the magic little bags. Yay, bags. Now, the rule book. This almost looks more like a World War I picture. It's not, but it looks like it. And I wonder why they chose that picture of any. It doesn't, doesn't reach out and grab you. But, open the rules. Right off, it tells you what counters are. What fire support markers are. And one of the things I like that Decision Games has been doing is the coloration here to tell you that things, and then of course the word important. Yo, Smitty, you dummy, this is important. Don't screw this up. Another thing I've been, been laudatory about with Decision Games recently is these, these kind of nice descriptions, uh, examples, just to make it easier. Then, then, of course, we get into oh, two pages of nothing but text. Uh, but it's not bad. But they should have over here, like they did with Saipan, and the Saipan rules, they had a nice retreat aspect. I'm going to look that up on the Saipan rules and show you the example that they should have put in here for that. Uh, then we get into the exclusive, more exclusive rules. And then we get into the actual scenario rules. And they're pretty interesting. We've gone through those. And at first it looks, they look dawning. They're really not. What is interesting is they break out how many of each fire support markers for each thing and the victory conditions. I went through these at bedtime. Bedtime, I'm not always the most, uh, how should we put it, awake while looking through rules. And these just came out very easy to me and made me want to just sit up and play this. So, and of course, we've got the combat result table here and terrain type. Now, what you all want to see is what? The map. Because we all love maps. Maps coming up. Okay, now let's talk about the being cheated aspect here. I don't think it's being cheated. There are the four different games. One, two, three, four different counter sheets. Well, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, less counters are often better. It makes the game easier to play and sometimes gives me more enjoyment because I can focus on the full thing. What these are, if you've never played a Modern War series game, are fire support markers. And let's zero in on those. Those are the British ones. These are the German ones, and of course, or very, I guess, just general support. But Panzers, I would consider fire support. Now let's look at Omaha. 
Omaha has, interestingly enough, heavy bombers, which is true, even though all their bombing went inland. Uh, mainly anti-tank guns here, as you can see. Some field artillery, which of course we know that Major Dick Winters took out, although he wasn't major then. And of course, I suppose these represent the various aspects of the Allies' tactical air support, which my Uncle Harold was flying on that day in 1944 in support of the D-Day invasions. Let's see, Utah Beach has a tremendous amount of fire support, and we've got, it looks like, priests here. Much more fire support, but it also had both of these, I noticed so far on two of the ones, we have minefields, which is very interesting. And let's look at, on the can, Sword Beach, the Germans have more fire support on this one, not surprising. But boy, the Brits have a lot of fire support. So, are you going like to this, like this so far? Well, I'm liking it so far. And what, oh, let's talk about counters here. Black are leg units, red are, of course, mobile units. So, quick review of the counters. We don't know how they're going to punch out, so let's find out real quick. Let's do this right in front of you. Let's see how they come out. And da -da 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 -da. They come out well enough. I'm happy with that because we know Smitty fusses about counters. So let's move on to the other aspects of the games, folk. Now I said I would look at, for my Saipan game. I just got done playing it. Here's the retreat example I talked to you about. Why didn't they include that in the D-Day game rules? Not a clue. I think they could have fit it in, and it's enough that it should have been put in there. Just, it's a minor thing, but it's a, it's a silly oversight on their part. 